We have painted our van again, finally. Uh, we painted it once before. It really didn't go well, unfortunately. Just didn't really like the color. Um, so went and got more paint and Rosanna and I picked a color that we really liked together and we painted it with this stuff, which is uh, the Raptor Tintable Bedliner uh, paint. It's really, really good stuff. It's quite easy to work with as well. It's, it's pretty forgiving. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna show you how we painted our van. And at the end, you'll see a bit of a before and after. Uh, and, and basically you'll see the results. We're really, really happy with the results. I think it looks amazing now. So make sure you stick around and, and um, let us know what you think at the end. And I'm gonna move on to stage two, which is starting to mask up uh, the areas that I don't want to get paint onto. So first thing is I mix up my 2K paint. So that's one part, uh, sorry, two parts paint to one part hardener, two to one. And I'm just putting it into one of these mixing bowls here, which has markings on the side to tell me uh, what three to one is, which is pretty handy. You mix it up. Put everything back in the Raptor bottle, shake it up, attach it to my gun and spray. Also, absolutely, absolutely classic day for it, which is nice. It got very dark very quickly there, so I was in a bit of a rhythm and I just, just kept going. Um, but I have a bit more to do tomorrow. Um, you can see it's a little patchy, um, and that's just because it needs a second coat. So I've got to do, this obviously this front section here. Um, I've got about half the roof as well, and then some bits on this side. It's looking good. I'm just doing like one last check to see if I can spot any bits that look a little bit yellow still. I'm back at Jolene, ominous looking Jolene. And um, I've got a pretty simple job today. I, I basically came over the weekend and had a look at how uh, the paint had dried. So it has a really good solid coat. Um, but I think it just needs another little extra bit on top. So what I'm actually gonna do is, it's, it's a little bit unusual because you probably normally wouldn't want to paint outside, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the van out um, into the gravel here because it's actually very difficult to see in the shed uh, the real fine detail of like, yeah, how, how thick the paint is. So anyway, that's it, that's what I'm gonna do. If you're gonna paint your own van, well, I would recommend for a van this size, long wheelbase Sprinter 170, you need 16 bottles of Raptor. Don't buy 12, don't buy eight, buy 16. You will use at least 15, if not 16. Um, buy loads of masking tape. If you think you've got enough masking tape, buy three or four big rolls more. <laughs> um, and sand every surface, even if it's plastic, just something. Scuff every single surface that you're going to paint because it's a disaster. It just it just flicks off. Um, and the biggest thing is make sure make sure you love the color before you commit to doing the whole van. Because the first time, you know, we thought we liked the color. We we went for like a RAL color. It was like a kind of a sandy, beigey color in our heads. Um, and so we went for, went to the paint shop, ordered the, the color. And when we got it, I, I did think like, it looks a little bit more yellowy than, than I would have imagined, but I, I guess it'll probably harden maybe and it'll be slightly darker. That's what I assumed, sure. I, I've got no idea. 
I painted on the roof and I was still like, Ugh, I'm not sure it's going to be right. And the decision we came to was like, let's just keep going and see what it's like when it's finished. Hopefully, hopefully it'll, it'll darken a bit whenever it's, um, whenever it's dried. <laughs> that didn't happen. Uh, it's just our own experience. So make sure you love the color before you, you commit to it. Um, but we, we started this van project and when we decided to share things online about it, we, we said, let's not hide any mistakes because there's so many YouTube channels, you know, that you can find and, and like every time you watch one of the videos, everything kind of goes perfectly and you make, it makes it look so easy and, and it makes it look like these, these people are just like, you know, real professionals at what they do. But, but like the reality is those people make mistakes as well or they're just really experienced. But like there's a lot of DIY builders that do their own vans up and then they, they kind of hide the mistakes. And that's not what we were doing. We made a huge mistake with the color the first time. Um, it, it took like f a full week, probably seven days of labor and like a lot of money and like for the materials and stuff. It was total, totally down the drain uh, other than, you know, the life experience, I guess. But uh, anyway, we've got it right the second time around. We're really happy. I have a little bit of work to do on the black plastics. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tape, our, tape off the bits of um, gray that I wanna protect from the, uh, from the sprayer. And then I'm gonna mix up a bottle of um, Black Raptor. I also need to, to scuff up the plastics that, I, that I'm going to be spraying. Um, not everywhere, but some parts, it, it didn't basically stick very well. So I'm gonna get the black plastics done and then what I'm gonna do is take all of the tape off the van and uh, do the big reveal. This uh, badge is one of the things that was causing me some, some trouble when I painted it the last time. So I've just taken it off and I'm just going around with some, what have we got? 120 grit, quite coarse sandpaper. And I'm just uh, basically scuffing it up so that the, the uh, paint will get a bit of a better grip on it. This black stuff is much easier to work with because you don't have to mix it at all. Well, you just have to put hardener in and they give you a measure. So like you don't even need to wear gloves. <laughs> the tintable stuff is a lot more, a lot more of a pain I'd say to use. Got, as they say, a rush of blood to the head. And I just decided to paint the wheels black as well. I was gonna do it anyway, um, uh, but I was gonna like try and clean the rust off and stuff. There's not a huge amount of rust, but just like surface rust. Anyway, I just scrapped it, I just painted them. I know that'll probably bite me in the future, um, but that's tomorrow's problem. Uh, they look pretty cool, <laughs> so. So that's it. We are finally finished with Jolene and getting her painted. It's been a long process, but I think it was worth all the hard work. If you enjoyed this, we've got a lot of other fan updates coming in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you uh, stick around, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions, just feel free to uh, uh, ask them in the comments and we'll, we'll get back to you.